Hello and welcome to our Wednesday Reflection. We are now on the third day of the week of prayer for Christian unity, which began on Monday the 18th and will go on to Monday the 25th of January. We live in a world full of division, where people who are different or not quite the same as others are forced out, bullied, imprisoned and many other things. Jesus did not want us to be on our own. He wanted us to live in unity. Let's see what Jesus had to say in the book of John. And so our reading comes from John 17 verses 20 to 23. Jesus prays for all believers. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. As Christians, we are united in the body of Christ. We are one through him. Being one body in Christ does not mean that we must all look alike, talk alike and enjoy the same kinds of activities. We are all different. And that's what makes us wonderful. God didn't create us the same. We are all have our part to play. It is through our differences that we are united. Our Christian unity is based on our common salvation in Jesus Christ. Christian unity is based on our common glory in Jesus Christ. Christian unity is important because it's a major factor in our witness to the world so that they may believe in Jesus Christ. If we can't be united, what does that say? We are often the only Bible that people read, by our godly lives, by our verbal witness to the person and work of Christ, and by our visible unity with believers, we proclaim to the world the truth that God sent his son to pay for the sins and give eter eternal life to all those who believe. Our Christian unity is expressed by believers' common love, common purpose and common mission. During this time of COVID-19, unity seems even more important. In a time when many churches have closed due to increasing levels of the virus, and even churches that are still open, the seats are at a distance. Conversation is limited, the usual church fellowship and events have been cancelled and the opportunity to come together has all but disappeared. We need to find new ways of uniting ourselves through phone calls, a letter or card of, of encouragement in the post, Zoom meetings and get togethers and online worship and prayer. We all have a little extra time on our hands at the moment and we can be united in our prayers. Prayers of love, worship and praise, prayers for healing, prayers for peace. I could go on and on. During this week of prayer for Christian unity, I encourage you to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ across our world, for those who are struggling in their faith, for those struggling with COVID, for unity in America, for those in our world who are persecuted for their faith, 
for those without a place to worship and for our fellow brothers and sisters here in the UK that we will be united in the love of Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this week of prayer for Christian unity. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ across our world and here in the UK. We pray for the work of your church, the many denominations and flavours. We pray that we will be united in our common love, our common purpose and common mission for you. Amen. And I do wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week as we are united together in love and prayer.